Hey guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to do a post call using Postman and then we are going to mimic the same exact thing using our flow. Okay, so we are going to create another HTTP callout and this time this is going to be a post call out. So first thing is let's go over to our source application. So I'm going to log in to my source application here and this is the name of my source application employee source app and if you go over here and let's take a look at how many employee records are currently there okay so I'm gonna go over to employee HR data and as you can see here we have total of about 25 items at this point that's the total number of records we have and uh, let me do one more thing i'm going to add few more fields here so we are going to add the first name we will add uh, last name we will add some salary and also let's say employee id okay so this is all i'm going to add here and it'll be much more easy to understand okay so we have all these 25 employees now if i have to insert a new record using postman what is the callout going to look like so i'm going to create a new http callout and this time it's going to be a post callout right so i'm going to go ahead and call it as a post and here we'll save it and we'll call this as insert new employee to the hr okay so this is the one and then we will hit the save and uh, how the post call will look like so if you remember it's going to be the same but this time we are not going to be passing any id and what we will do here is this is going to be the endpoint and then in the body we will pass in a json format okay and uh, what all things we are going to pass we will be passing the first name so if you remember this is how the first name is underscore c and let's say we call it as sharuk comma and then similarly we will pass in the last